listening to Entitled Thursday at 6 p.m. The Fresh Friends just helped me out. I've been yeah. slipping all day. <laughs> what is good? What all a, why, are you, why are you a little slow today right now? You I been... just gave blood for like four hours. She's feeling lightheaded. I'm feeling, I don't know what I'm woozy. feeling. Okay, so that was the Poly Seeds in Sao Paulo. Um, those are some dope songs. What do you yeah, think they about are. that? What do you think? I thought they were pretty dope. Pretty hey, dope. by the way, we got my man District 21 in the building. What Say up, what's what up, up, bro. How you doing? Yeah, man. Do you need some coffee? No. <laughs> no? Yeah. What about a Monster Red Bull? Because we got I don't that. don't drink none Do of we? that, man. Actually, no, we don't have that. What's your favorite drink? Favorite drink? Gatorade. Oh, no, Gatorade. Sprite. Sprite. Uh, Sprite goes good with everything. I've that's literally true. never heard someone say Gatorade, though. No, but that's wavy, though. He's different. You're different. Like, I love had a Gatorade. drinking Gatorade. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so Leangelo got pulled out of school by his dad. What do you guys think about that? Yo, I really think that LeVar maybe should just chill it a bit. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the fact that they're building a brand and stuff like that, but I think maybe he should chill just a tad bit because he puts, like, too much hype and shit around them. You know what I mean? It keeps the media on them. Keeps them, them relevant, though. Stuff. Keeps the money flowing, though. Yeah, man, but... I think he's entitled. You think he's entitled? Oh, hey. well, I heard that. He is entitled. <laughs> I don't agree with everything, but you know, I think it's his life, his kids. Mm -hmm. If they cool with it, they you know, they right. shouldn't have a problem with it. Facts. And so the youngest and Leangelo, what's the youngest name? Lamelo. Lamelo. So they're both skipping college and playing overseas. What do you guys think about that? I don't know why the younger one is. Cause he's really good, right? Like super supposed good? To be. Supposed to be? Mm. Or is Never it the height? It's it no, dude. It's this it, this shit that Leangelo did. So they don't even want Lamelo to have to even dwell in it. So I'm gonna just send my last two kids to overseas. But either way, they're both ballers. Big baller brand. Shout out to them. I E is on the map. Yes. I heard that. I heard that. So um, there's some collab tapes coming up soon, right? Yeah. Like who? Um. Metro, Metro, and Big Sean. Booming. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? I like Big Sean. You like Big I think Sean? He can rap. I like Big Sean too. He's what like, do you think about the collab tape as a whole? Like them two, or like that? Yeah, idea. yeah, yeah. This, just them two, the idea of it, just everything around it. Well, they made bounce Metro did bounce back. Then, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I, th I mean, I have no reason to not have high expect or any type of expectations for it. Like I think. I don't see why they would make a bad tape. I can't see him making something bad together. Yeah. Big Sean is fire. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm going to give Big Sean his props. Like, especially, like, maybe um, Dark Sky Paradise. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. like, I I decided. That's when I started fucking with Big Sean. But prior to that, I didn't. I'm going to honestly say, truth be told, because uh, a lot of the tapes that we get with them jam-packing shit mm -hmm. is low-key weak. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like it's gonna be great. Like to that, be honest, I don't feel like it's gonna be great. A lot of these collab tapes are like kind of bullshit and garbage. What do you think about the Offset one? I, I don't have any no. Idea. Speak on it. Speak <laughs> on it. You What's seem up? eager, my no, friend. No, like I just, I just, I don't know. It was what I, it was cool. If you like, I that. like the Rick Flair drip go woo on it. Yeah, that was all right. But honestly, that was some shit that was slapped together too. I like anything that makes me feel like a thug. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So <laughs> it was it was hard. You know, it made me want to hold a deuce deuce and all that. A deuce deuce Jesus. Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> Come on now. And I, I like Big Sean oh. because, like, he's not super gangsta. Like, he's just real. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just a rapper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Artist. And he's not a fronter. I like it. Well, if you like gang anything that makes you feel, like, hard and shit like that, so did you listen to the... Money bag yo and um, young boy never broke again. Fed babies. Fed babies. <laughs> Fed babies. That shit was mm. amazing. Low key, <laughs> I'm willing to debate it, which we're gonna be getting to um, on a later episode, guys. Don't trip. Um, but we're gonna debate the best collab albums of 2017, and I'm willing to say that that one is up there. Fed Ooh. babies. Fed babies. 
Fed Babies. That shit just came out like maybe a few weeks ago, less than a month ago. Federal Children. Fe- Fed Babies. Children of the Fed Babies. You call that like a collab tape if it's like Sean and Metro Boomin. It's like because it's a producer. Is yeah, that what you're trying to say? Like didn't Nav and Metro Boomin did a tape too? Yeah, they did. You're right. And that I mean, it's Nav on every song. I mean, I don't know if you can call. I guess you can. I don't know. I mean, kind of. It's two rappers. Yeah. Like Future and Thugger, like, that's a collab tape. I see what you're saying. I love it. I, I mean, you're right, because they could easily go. <laughs> I was going to say, like, it's still a collab because the producer has, like, a, a, a big name and they listened to and heard about, like, the MC. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, I do get where you, where you guys are going when you say, like, it's a... Uh, I don't know. That's Probably like saying not. Mike Will made it did like all of Miley's album. He did all of Miley's album, the Bangers one. Oh yeah. Miley Cyrus. Yeah, but then it's like not a Miley. And Wait, are you serious? Mike Will. No, he yeah. did. Mike Will was with Miley Cyrus. Truth be told, and we're saying it on record. Yeah. I bet you money, Mike Will then smacked Miley all the way across Figueroa. Like dated? Yeah. My golly. What? What? Man, oh, you didn't my. know that? Come on. I now. didn't. I must live under a rock. She I think he was knocking it down though. Mike Will was on Miley. Maybe. I'm gonna Mike clutch my pearls. <laughs> Mike Will was on Miley. Yo, Mike Will, if you ever hear this, please just confirm it. Shoot it on Twitter. Oh, just my. say yeah. I knocked Same. it down. <laughs> just just say the yeah. day you write, yeah, I knocked it down, we know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, District 21, can we talk about your music? Where are you from? Calabasas, California. How does How does that affect your music, being from Calabasas? I think it makes my music way... I think it makes it makes me better because I have to talk about everything other than, like, a cliche type of rap story. So no deuce deuces? I mean, I don't know about that. Like, my dad was a rapper, my stepmom was a singer. Oh. And... They had their lanes, and, like, I have mine. And What type of stuff did your dad rap about? Well, my dad was a rapper. His name was Mac-10. He was in West Side Connection. Can I gang? Can I gang? That's yeah. right. Hey, yeah. shout out Mac-10. And then, um, so he was, like, gangster rap, mm-hmm. 90s and stuff like that. And then my stepmom was in TLC. Mm. And then she was R&B. But I think both of them, they both kind of, like, I don't know really, get a lot of inspiration from my stepmom but my dad he kind of just tells me tell my own story because I don't really know about anything else yeah so I can only talk about what I know can you spit a bar for us right now what do you know I know I don't know (laughs) (laughs) all I know is I don't know so (laughs) considering that that your dad came from such an era of like really like talking about more street type shit Mm -hmm. when you kick your your bars and your Kicking it from like a different perspective, like a completely different perspective. Yeah. Like, how does that make you feel when you listen to like that and you compare it to yours? Like, you see how you fit more into the 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 now? Are you more into the now type of I think sound or I think my sound is like a mix of a lot of things, like pop, um, alternative, rap, hip hop. There's some trap. There's some R and B. Um, but I, I think it's, I, I don't think I'm anything like my dad yeah. in, as far as artist perspective, but mentality, we probably, have, we're probably a lot of the same, but artistry, I don't think I get anything from him, you know? Which is, yeah, that's cool. You're just mm-hmm. your different own guy, you know? Same and that's that very respectable. Yeah, it really is actually. Do you ever feel the pressure to make a name for yourself? No, because not a lot of people know, like. I don't I don't think we've ever like I've ever been like marketed or something like that or presented to somebody as like this his son mm-hmm. or something like that. Like I've always been an individual and I've always done my own thing. So all I only person I I care about proving anything to is myself. I heard that. I like that, man. I like that. You're already going into it with the with the Well, if if you only care to, you know, give yourself the stamp of approval how do you know when you're getting better? Do you feel it? Like, what do you what do you do to top what you did the the last time? Um, I think that just comes with time. Like, you know, just getting better. It's like being in the gym or something, or being in the basketball gym. Like, you take a thousand shots. Like, 
by the thousand shot. If you you should have a better <laughs> shot by the thousand <laughs> shot. You should. I mean, if you don't, then you know you're just being lazy or you or you're trying me. to begin with. But I think you just. I think I I always try to one up myself. You you always try to do better than what you did the last time. So. You seem like such a laid back guy. Like, what type of person were you in school? Like this, kind of, kind of like to myself, a little bit more quiet. I really like observing things more than I do engaging with a lot of things. Um, all my friends played sports, like every single one of them. Uh, but yeah, I was pretty laid back. Did you play sports? I did in ninth and tenth grade, and then I stopped. I heard and that. What, what sports you play? <laughs> <laughs> Football and baseball. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. I heard that. All right, so can you talk to us about your song, Pleasure? What What do you think makes everyone love it? Um, Pleasure is like a groovy kind of song. Like, very... When I first heard the beat, I was like, this is, like, timeless, kind of. Like, I can't really tell which era this is from. And so... I mean, as far as why people like it, I think it's just because it's like a fun song, kind of like it's, it's uh, you don't have to be this type of way or this type of way to enjoy it. It's just music. And you, you know. We're back. That was Pleasure by District 21. Yeah, bump it or dump it, Chris? We're gonna bump it, bro. I'm bumping that. You can that. dance to that, bro. Like, appreciate it. I'm appreciate not even. It. I almost fell out of this little stool twice, <laughs> thinking I was trying to get my little, you know, Bobby Brown on real quick, you know. I'm definitely yeah. bumping that all the way to the store. Yeah, that, that all knocks. the way. That knocks. Appreciate it. Thank so, you. where do you get your music inspiration? Um, all genres really. Like, I love Lord. I love <gasps> Kid mm. Cudi. I you love, love Frank. Lord? I love Pink Floyd, Nirvana, Fleetwood Mac, Janis Joplin, Kanye, Drake, Damn. Billy Joel. You have everybody. sus. Damn. Such a Damn. Yeah, okay. Is your household musical, would you say? Is that where you got it from, or is it just from life and experience? My sister is like an encyclopedia, like with mm -hmm. music, like everything. She showed me, I remember, like she showed me a lot of good Charlotte growing up. Um... She loves, like, Alanis Morissette. And, like, she really introduced me to, like, alternative type of music and grunge and punk and stuff like that. And um, because my dad just played rap music, obviously, then my mom really liked the normal stuff. What's like normal? Ashanti, oh, yeah. Hill, like, stuff like that. My dad's a cool Mary with that. Yeah, the, oh, okay. <laughs> so, all that I can say. I love yeah, it. Yeah, all that. Yeah. So would you consider yourself a rapper? I think, in a sense, like... Rapping is what I'm best at, but I try to, like, put as much melody and stuff like that into my music, like a tastemaker kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why, I mean, that's why I picked the name that I picked, District 21, because I, I didn't want anybody to be able to just guess what genre I am oh. just by reading the name. I like that, because I'm going to be honest with you, truthfully. If I, th that's the first song I heard from you, bro. I would not think you're a rapper. Really? Really. I felt like you really, I don't know what kind of groove you were getting in, bro, but you had, it was like a dance. That gives me gold. Yeah, it was, yeah, like an R&B black. Yeah. Really? Yeah, bro. Those are, Those are good people to be Yeah, that's with. what I feel yeah. like, that's why I'm, that's why I would say like, nah, he's not a rapper, you're more like that, but I, I, I like it. Thank I like you. it. Appreciate it. I love it. So, um, can you talk to us about Contact? Contact is, it's not a, it wasn't going to be a single, it's not a single, but it's a song people seem to like a lot, and there's no hook on it, it's about like, it's more, I made it to be an interlude, but people just like it, I guess, so. They just like it, I yeah, heard that. I there's nothing more to say about it. Let's Definitely your vibe is slow. Slow vibe? Slow vibe, but yeah. Now, so is it going to further justify my point that you are not a rapper and you are a singer? Well, this is all rapping. All right. All right. This is all rapping. <laughs> all right. District 21, that was Contact. Um, I see you have in parentheses here Malibu. What's that about? Because um, I wrote it in Malibu on the beach. Oh. And that's why I put the waves in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It Did just gives me lady? like a PCH vibe. You said what? You have any ladies with you? When I wrote it? Uh-huh. 
No, I wrote it about somebody, like, in particular. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little friend? I'm uh, just are, like... Are you saying you got a little friend? Uh, She's just, like, cool. Now, I mean, I don't know. We just cool. We chill, you know? So, hey, if you listen, you cool. I'm totally Would rolling my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right just like for every Edition girl 21, in the world. Edition 21, going to get that phone call in a little bit. Like, yeah, oh, oh, okay. I'm We're cool. Just <laughs> we just chilling. Oh, that's how you feel. <laughs> that's how you feel? All right. That's hilarious. I'm pulling up later. Right. Even trip. I really am pulling up. <laughs> Look, that's you heard thing. him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are your top five rappers? rappers. Top five faves, yeah. Little Wayne is was like, especially growing up, was like the artist, like the biggest star on the planet, or at least like three or four years. On top of that, he's just like the best to me. So Little Wayne, Eminem, Kid Cudi, mm. uh, Drake, and Kanye. Hmm. In that order. In that order. I respect that. I like that. I That's my top five it. ever. In that order. Ever. Yeah. Do you have top five R and B? R and B. I guess Lauren Hill. Is she R and B? Oh my! Look, dude. <laughs> you're getting an entitled award. <laughs> when those come out, you will get one. Man. How many yeah. people have we promised those? No, how many people have you promised those? Okay, y'all gonna get them when they come out. <laughs> you guys are gonna get them when they come out. Don't trip. No, but yeah, Lauren Hill, Mary J, uh, Sade. Wow. Um, fuck, who's R and B? That's like straight TLC. Um, I can't really think. Is Beyonce R and B? She's pop. She can be. She could. Let me be. go like old, oh, like me myself and I Beyonce. Hmm. Like, that's like, I like your style, my friend. I do. I love it. So, do you have any upcoming shows? No, I've only done two shows in my life, and I opened up for Lil Wayne on both of them, in like. OMG. What? what? Those yeah. are some good shows, man. What are you doing? Yo, you're going to be selling out arenas next. You open up for Wayne. Look, promoters, call this man. Man, please. Hey, call me. You know, I'm around. But, you yeah, know, I've only done two shows. I want to get on stage a whole lot more because okay. it's like, it felt, I felt really comfortable on stage. And it's really, it's a crazy feeling. So, yeah. Really How soon. does it feel? Describe it to me. I've never had the experience. Well, the first time <laughs> they told me that I was going to open up for Wayne, I was like, what? <laughs> like, I don't even know if his fans will like my music or something like that, but, and stuff like that, I mean. But it was just like, when I walked on stage, it was mad surreal. Because, like, I always go to concerts, and then I look back, I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, I can do this. Like, when I go to concerts and shit, so when I actually went, I mean, when I was actually on stage, it was just an adrenaline rush. Like, I didn't even feel like myself. On, I felt like a, a different person Dang. on stage. My gosh, I love it. That's wavy, bro. Yeah. And then when I got off stage, it was like, damn. You felt like it was a high you didn't yeah. want to end yet, huh? Yeah. You're like, dude. It was quick, because my set was only, like, 15 minutes. So. That's a long set for Wayne. Well... I guess. I that's a, dude, yeah, so, that's amazing. That's a great start. How Thank did you. you get that connect? That doesn't just happen to anyone. Um one it's like a weird story, but I guess his manager knows somebody that I'm with at, at um at Priority Capital. Mm -hmm. And then they reached out to me and then they was like, Do you wanna do it? I was like, is that a question? <laughs> of course I wanna do it. And yeah, it was in Denver. It was the first one, and then the second one was in um, Boise. I want to say. How'd you get there? Plane. Oh. Yeah. Cool. They flew. <laughs> I heard that. Spiffy. Did you My order God. anything on the plane? Some no, drinks? No, no. I I'm t I hate flying. Every oh. time I'm on a plane, I want to get off. Really? Are you yeah. scared of heights? No, I'm just scared of planes. Like I just, uh, they're just weird. You know, we're so That's it's crazy. like you're so high up and then you get turbulence and then you start overthinking the turbulence. Maybe I just overthink the turbulence and like I Um, don't know. I think I just learned in like my science class that it's like a one in a thousand chance in your like lifetime that you'll crash well, from a plane. 
I did not. Those are still it. hard That's odds, though, bro. <laughs> Compared to a car. Yo, come on. look. One in look, a thousand? Look, those like, are hard odds, dude. People are winning, like, what was the, uh, the UNLV? What's their face? Uh, uh, uh. But Howard know, University beat UNLV, and there was only like a three percent chance that that could happen. You don't even fly a thousand times in your lifetime, though. But still, that one, yeah, yeah I'm not fooling. Okay, then it. don't mm-hmm. drive a car. Look, I'm not. Hey, look, and I'm can, can in honest, LA, that, That's bad. I didn't survive two car accidents. I know God is real. This year, I, almost, I could have lost my life. So mm-hmm. yeah, I think all that stuff is risky. Yeah, oh I, don't, hey, I don't blame you, bro. Mm-hmm. You only I, get uh, oh, you only get one life, you know. That statistic made it too real just to, now. Real oh my spirit. gosh, She's I like, thought that was gonna help. One in one thousand, like <laughs> I don't huh. even want to think about that. Okay, uh, next question. This man might be going on tour. He really ain't gonna be on. You I don't feel me? Think about that. No, but I might be wrong. Like I feel like it's so big, like more than a thousand possibly. Don't be scared. <laughs> now I don't even know which one don't is the right scared. statistic. You might just be saying. Don't now. be scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you open for Wayne. Mm-hmm. Well, who would you want to open for you? I don't know. I I don't know who I'd want to open with me, but I would love to do a show with Kid Cudi. That would be like a dream come true. Or Kanye. Or Kanye. I saw That'd Kid Cudi cool. at the observatory, dude, and like he had people crying in there. Cudi is like people's big brother, man. Like he's just, he's so important to like our culture. And he doesn't get enough credit. Yeah, he doesn't. Wow. But, like, he's so... I, I think he's really important to, like... I think that he birthed a lot of this newer generation. Him and Wayne, actually. I was just talking to my sister about that. I think Wayne is, like... I think Uzi is just Wayne. Hmm. Like, I was listening to The Way Life Goes, and I was like, this sounds like... A, this sounds like How to Love, kind of. Like, I feel like Little Uzi was singing How to Love by Little Wayne. And I just feel like they're so similar. The whole oh. rock star thing, shit, like... That's actually really sweet. I think that's sweet. What? That you compared them. Like, I just think that's what? sweet. Like, what? What about that is sweet? What was the first CD you burned? Do you remember? The first one I, I ever burned was Kelly Clarkson. Probably, like, Ja Rule or something. Oh, yeah. Bro, this man is from Calabasas. He didn't burn CDs, man. Would you burn CDs? You were still in music? I know how to burn them. I didn't burn... No, you know what? Y'all Actually, be in Calabasas still in music? Lie. That's a lie. Look, I, hey, first... LiAngelo. <laughs> <laughs> the first CD I burned was Get Rich or Die Trying. Shout out to 50. Okay. I ain't even yeah. mad at you for that one. I vividly crush. remember that, actually. Vividly? Wow. Vividly. Yeah. At my grandma's house. 50, burned. you would have sold 11.111. If my man didn't burn your album. But anyway, you needed the album. I needed the album. We all What was the first album. one you burned, Chris? Burned? Uh, the 8 Mile soundtrack. Mm. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I remember. No! Yo, I don't know. Wait. Whichever. We got to fact check it. Whichever one came out first. But I know I got them around the same time. It was 8 Mile soundtrack and Ludacris' uh, word of mouth. Mm. It's funny. I didn't start liking rap until I started, like, dating. Really? Yeah. I listened to Kelly Clarkson, like Lady Gaga, mm, Maroon 5, Coldplay. Uh, 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 yeah. Interesting. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. tight. <laughs> genius. She doesn't get enough I think either. earlier yeah. days Gaga was cool. When she did that song, Paparazzi, I loved that song. Like, and with that little movement that she had going earlier. When she used to, eat, like, wear meat? Yeah, when she was a weirdo. Like, she I don't studied like her the now. art of fame. Did you know that? Oh, she, really? like, literally studied the art of fame and, like, captivating people's attention and giving them something to talk about. Like, she literally studied it. She admits it. I didn't know there was an art. Oh, yeah. That's what Cardi B has done and mastered it. Nikki did the same thing then. With the Probably, wigs. yeah. With the, yeah, yeah. You got to give somebody something to talk about. And on top of that, when they do that, like... It's all, like, a Madonna influence. Oh, Yeah. Love love the, me some what's that song called? Happy, so happy I could die by Lady Gaga. I like that's my favorite song. That's your fave. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Mm. I'm sticking to paparazzi. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I didn't give her too many more good looks after that. Like she's started coming out with stuff, and then I heard she had an album with uh, Tony Bennett or something like and that. And did you guys know that she can sing? I heard with the no, Tony Bennett. Can. I heard she, she really can, can really sing. She can blow. Wait, she sang in the Super Bowl. Yeah, when she did that jump. Off the stage. Do you mm-hmm. remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember, <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> so many memes were out about that. All right, so who would you f- feature on your album, and who would you want to produce it? One feature, one producer. Can we give Only them two? two? I want to give them two features. Two features? This can be, Only you, two features on the whole on album. On the whole album. 
Frank and Florence Welch. Because I love her voice. And then producer, like Timbaland. Oh. That would be a wavy album. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm telling you, this man is, you got the you got that, that black feel to you, man. I like <laughs> it, dude. I like it. Like, But in your own lane, you know what I mean? It's pretty yeah. wavy, bro. Thank you, I try. I could definitely, I would imagine what a Frank, District 21, Timbo on the beat. Hook, like Timbo Frank on the beat. Like a bridge or something. It's like a cold bridge after the second verse or something. That would be so groovy. Do background on the hook. It's got to be subtle. Like, I don't want it to be like featuring Frank Ocean. But I want it to be featuring Frank Ocean. I feel like Frank isn't that type of... Like, he's always subtle. Yeah. He? He's very, like... He doesn't really do many features either. Yeah. Unless it's like Tyler, Hope, Beyonce. Yeah. I love Frank Ocean. You know Beyonce's on Pink and White? Really? Did you know that? Mm-mm. You know the song Pink and White? Mm-hmm. That's her going like, ah, in the background at the end of the song. Oh, he got the connect. That's Beyonce. Wow. I love it. I didn't even know that. Wow. I don't think anybody knows that. But you. Well, I mean, it's you can read it. You can find <laughs> yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. I just, nobody really. Yeah. Cares to search it up. Yeah. So yeah. you're so seasoned. Like, when did you start, like, really? Here's a question. Like, when did you fall in love with hip hop? Um, I always loved hip hop. I always loved like music. Period. Um, I think in it's, it's funny actually in seventh grade, I started recording in seventh grade, but I didn't start putting music out till my senior year in high school. Um, but yeah, in seventh grade, I saw Diggy Simmons. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, saw, I saw I saw his uh, "Made You Look" freestyle. And I was like, what the fuck? I remember it. It was, was hard as fuck, too. I was too. like, damn, it was I hard as do fuck. That, that looks sick. <laughs> like, his video looks sick. I was like, I want to try it. And then I just started recording. And Justin Bieber also made me want to start recording. I was like, really? Just, like, How popular. old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 20. Dude, okay. When's your birthday? July 25th. Oh, wow. Leo. I heard that. I like it. So can you tell us, why are you entitled? You know, that's the name of our show. We're always talking about bump it or dump it, who's hot, who's not. Why are you entitled? I think I'm entitled because... I want to give you, like, a, a good answer, too. Um, I think I'm entitled because this is, like, everything for me like making music. This is everything. This is everything I ever wanted to do. And I haven't even scratched the surface of like anything that I want to do. But this is literally, I want this more than anybody. And mm. like, I want to be the biggest artist in the world. And not just because like everybody, like this, that would be awesome thing to be. But like, just because like, I feel like I put in enough work on my own when nobody's looking to like, that's the only type of standard I have for myself. And that's the type of standard I think I deserve to, to have for myself. I want to be great. And I wouldn't even do it if I if I didn't feel like I could be the best at it. And like I said, I'm just getting started. So I feel like I'm entitled because like it's just in me. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. I heard that. I like that. I that's like an that. A plus, my man. That is. That is. <laughs> mm. You are rightfully entitled. OK. <laughs> <laughs> So what's another one of your fans' favorites off of your album Lifeguard? Um, a lot of people, well, this one isn't on Lifeguard. It's on Jeep. It's called Jeeps, mm -hmm. but I guess Come Around would be the one similar to Jeeps on Lifeguard, but I don't know. Well, let's just stick with the album, then. <laughs> go, go listen to Jeeps, too. But Come Around is probably another one that people like. Or Rider. Depends. So you released this two months ago? Yeah. Well, it was a, a lot of those had just been on SoundCloud, and then mm -hmm. like after I signed and everything, I re just I just put everything that I had on mm -hmm. Apple Music, so it was like officially released. And then while I work on like this project that I'm working on right now. So who did you sign to? Priority Records, but it's uh, it's like a distributed. It's under Capital. It's like a division of Capital Records. So. Yeah, Priority used to be popping in, like, early 90s, 90s yeah. and shit like that. Uh, and then they brought it back up. Thank you to Fuzzy for finding me. Thanks, <laughs> Fuzzy. That's yeah. right, Fuzzy. 
but um, yeah. So how did it feel when you get signed? Did you have a feeling of accomplishment or of this just begun? I didn't really feel it. I was obviously super happy. I was super stoked about just like hearing that they even liked my stuff, but I I kind of feel like it was just a, like I said, it was just a crazy feeling. This all started just like an idea in my room. And to even come like this far is like just, all, even to be sitting here right now is awesome to me. Like to talk about music is just crazy. So when I got signed, it was just the same type of feeling, just extremely appreciative and just another chapter, another part of the story. All right, so we're going to bump Come Around by District 21. Tell me what you think. You guys can tune in on UCLAradio.com and um, comment, let us know. But this is Come Around, District 21. I'm bumping I'm bumping thus far, it, Thus far, um, I like your delivery, dude. I like your delivery and the way you be approaching some. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. That shit is, the approach is... So lifeguard, can you talk to us a little bit about that? Like one, why did you name it lifeguard? I named it lifeguard because I love the beach. I love driving by PCH, um, and that just like was the. Actually, there's this lifeguard tower that I'm not gonna tell anybody where it is, but it's in it's in Malibu, and it's like kind of hidden, and like I always go there, like to just like chill out or think or something like that. I'll bring my friends with me sometimes. And so I just named it Lifeguard. Mm. But, yeah. Do you own a Jeep? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What, a Wrangler? Yeah. Four-door? Yeah. Damn, man. I can't <laughs> wait to get mine, bro. That shit sucks on gas, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's whatever. It's not really aerodynamic either. Like, it's windy right now. So when you're driving, it, the car is hollow, you know? So it sways and shit like that in the wind. But Does it? Dude, and I'm really trying to get one of those, bro. So, yeah, I better go with the uh, affordable one because I'll be driving a lot on, you know, in the wind. So, what more can you tell us about Lifeguard? Um, that it's in the hip hop rap category on Apple Music, <laughs> but I don't think it's just hip hop rap. Like, I think it's a mix of a lot, a lot of things. I think it's like pop. I think it's alternative. I think it's R and B. And it's just, my, I try my best to make my own sound. I don't want to sound like anybody else. I mean, influences obviously will shine through any type of artist, but mm -hmm. I try my best to create my own sound and my own image and my own message and story that I wanted to tell. And it's just a soundtrack to my environment. Like, play it, play the album when the sun is setting, or play it driving on the freeway or some shit or playing when you wake up in the morning or you know it's just like a soundtrack to life you know and with that i'm just wondering because i'm curious what's the first thing you think about in the morning this Music? i wake up and think about like what i should do today what can i do today that's like a cliche answer but that's like like honestly the truth mm -hmm. i wake up and think about what i can do next or an idea or something like that yeah, I love it. All right, this is District 21. Shout out your socials. Plug your shit. District 21 Music on Instagram and Twitter and SoundCloud. <laughs> District 21 on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, wherever you stream music or listen to music or buy music, iTunes. And, yeah, so and we'll do that. You have a project coming out soon. When can we expect that? Probably spring. Hopefully spring, like spring break or something like that. I don't know when anybody's spring break is, but more like March, March, March April, -ish, March, April. So yeah, spring break, whenever, whenever your spring break is. <laughs> it'll most spring breaking be out. in the Jeep, you dig? Or, yeah. Do you ever take the the doors off your Jeep? Yeah, but it's kind of hard to take the doors off, and I, and I gotta leave them somewhere, and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna leave, <laughs> leave them. <and> leave them. <laughs> it's just too much. I usually just leave them on, but every now and then you take them off. I got one more question. When you finished recording the album, Lifeguard, mm -hmm. did you jump in the Jeep and start riding down PCH pretending you're a lifeguard on some Baywatch shit? Like, listen to the whole album? Literally. Literally. That's exactly what I did. Oh, my I God. Knew it. I knew it. He has a Jeep. I knew it. He has a Jeep. <laughs> Look, guys. French be seeing shit. I tell the truth, guys. I tell the truth. <laughs>
I'm done with you guys. Really? Hey. Exactly. Like <laughs> hey, it was amazing having you yeah, here, District so 21, much man. Hey, much love to you, dude. Keep rocking that shit. I'm a jam that shit. Apple Music, that's the plug right now. Title 2, shout out to everybody. Spotify, play Jay-Z. that album. Shout out to Jay-Z. Shout out Title. to Jay-Z, man. <laughs> hey, hey, black-owned business, we love it. All Thank right, you take guys care, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in.